when we were young. Hey guys, Dan the Man, aka Daniel's son. And you know what? We got to talk about when we were young. Another edition of when we were young. And you know something's in when another kid stabs another kid for just a piece, just a card. Just a card. And I'm talking about Pokemon. Now, Pokemon was huge back in my elementary days. <clears throat> I mean, this thing blew up. I mean, you had, first of all, before even Pokemon became a fad, Marbles was in. You know, you had your boulders. You had your little your little silver ones. I think those silver ones, yeah. You'd be playing in a baseball field, making little holes and shit, and then... Whoever beats you, basically, they get to keep your marbles. And then, you know, the administration says, you can't play at the baseball field anymore because this is for baseball. And there is no crying in baseball. Well, anyway, after marbles was basically done, load and behold. And, of course, there was pox before that. Pokemon came. Oh, I knew. I knew when I saw the freaking show and I saw these cards being produced that, hey, this thing is stupid. <laughs> he is so dumb. Why are we buying this crap and why are we watching it? But, you know, of course, I got to be cool. So I had to join the fools. And that's what I did. I watched Pokemon. And it's basically about Ash, our main protagonist. He wants to become a Pokemon trainer or master. Capture all the Pokemon that's in the world. The Pokemon are these like little beans or whatever that has powers and stuff. And his first Pokemon is Pikachu. Now, Pikachu was my favorite. I even spent 20 bucks just to get it. Was it 20? Damn, I think it might have been more. I think it was 50 bucks. I got, I, I spent 50, bu I gave a kid 50 bucks, which is my friend. Thanks a lot, Dick. Gave him 50 bucks just to give me a stupid ass Pikachu card because I didn't have it. Yep. That's Pokemon's power. The influence on making other people crazy. Now, before I get to the cards, basically the show blew up. Everybody loved it. Everybody loved, you know, Ash. Everybody loved Charizard. Everybody loved Bubbles, whatever the fuck their names are. Pokemon was the shit. This is the first ever Pokemon series, cartoon series. This isn't like no expansion, no spin-offs where, you know, uh, Ash's friends are not there, and now Ash's friends are there, and Team Rocket's there, but not there. No, this is when Team Rocket was there. This is when Ash had his two friends, that one dude and the one chick, that pretty much, when he grows up, he's going to look uh, he's gonna look at her a little differently. But, you know, it was always Ash and Pikachu, and it was always that story, and it was always trying to catch them all. It was always the tournament. I remember when the tournament Ash participated in, the first tournament, he lost. I was like, no, but he lost. That wasn't a big thing. That that wasn't the reason this thing was huge. The reason this thing was huge is you were able to get cards and you were you were able to duel. You were able to duel people, you know? I mean, Pikachu only had like 120 against freaking Charizard who had freaking 130 or whatever. <coughs> it was basically one of it's like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but basically Pokémon started that. And you know, you had these cards, you had the the packs, you go in the store, you spend all your money on these packs when you could have spent it on ice cream or some other useless crap or, you know, shit that makes you fatter. Damn, I did both. Well, anyway, so basically, yeah, those cards, man, those cards, I remember they used to have single cards in a baseball sh shop that, like, were, like, 200 bucks, 200 bucks because this one Pokemon, I think it was... Charizard, who uh, uh, was like the big baddie, Charizard was the biggest dragon or whatever, or there was a different name to it or whatever. <clears throat> like these rare Pokemon cards that would give you so much points. They were like charging you $200 just for that one damn card. Ridiculous. This ain't no damn Jackie Robinson rookie card. This ain't no Babe Ruth old school team photo card. This is a freaking Pokemon card charging you $200. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean that it was huge. You, I had all my friends basically playing, and then not most of them weren't even playing a freaking game. Most of them just collected them just to collect them all, get them all. That was me. I still have a shitload of Pokemon cards in the freaking garage. I want to burn them. After this video, I'm gonna burn them. No, no, it's too soon. It's too soon for that. 
Oh, anyway. Then the movie hit. The Pokemon, the first movie, came to theaters. That line was ridiculous. You would get two cards. I think you got a, like some cards, too, with Mew and or whatever the hell the other one name was. And, of course, it's like, you know, new Pokemon. Oh, my God. The original Pokemon, ancient Pokemon, whatever. That line, the theater, you know, here's the entrance to the theater. Here's the line, the waiting line. It stretched all the way, all the way around the theater. Everybody wanted to see the damn Pokemon movie. And don't judge me. I did cry. I cried when Ash died. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Pokemon uh, was a huge deal in Santa Maria. It was a huge deal all over the place. I don't know. Oh. It was a fad that did not need to happen. I bet you, I think people's kids still do now, you know, have Pokemon cards nowadays. Not as big as it used to be, but it's still pretty big. <clears throat> I know grown ass men like my age still watching Pokemon. They think, I think one, one person suggested I watch a Pokemon show that has to deal with humanoids and Pokemon mixing. That's okay. I don't need no more Pokemon. The only Pokemon series I had that I watched was the first series. I don't know what happened to all those characters. Honestly, I don't really care. Pokemon, when we were young, we just loved the shit out of that. And guess what? After those cards came out, Dragon Ball Z cards came out. After Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh cards came out. But it was really Pokemon. And it, like I said, a kid stabbed another kid for a damn Pokemon card. That was on the news. That was on our city news where another kid wanted that card so bad he stabbed the shit out of the other kid, and he was in like an elementary school. That's bad. That is bad. So basically, that's it. Did you guys have the same problems? Did you guys have Pokemon cards? I know you have Pokemon cards. I know you have Pokemon cards. Don't deny it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, think. Let me know. Just let me know how how your days were back in the day with Pokemon when it became such a huge success. Were you the people who bought the cards, or were you not? If you were not, you're a loser. Not just kidding. Bravo. Because that was a waste of money. So much Pokemon cards. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. And uh, if you like this video, please press the like button. And please subscribe for more. Another edition of When We Were Young on its way. But like I said, man, Pokemon the devil. I said it. Pokemon's the devil. So it's Twilight.